Hello, I'm Ben Lucas and welcome to another tutorial for Tuts Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to find those pesky imperfections that might otherwise be invisible. The samples we have here are actually my sample albums that I show to my wedding clients. Now I did uh, some product samples for my website, but I'm going to show you how we can find the imperfections here that you can't see. Now. Lightroom has a really cool tool under the spot removal tool right here that's actually new to Creative Cloud. Right here, if you check this text box, visualize spots, you can actually have it show less or more contrast. And this is a really cool tool in 90% of situations. The problem here is you can't really tell the difference between what is an imperfection versus what is just leather texture versus some of the nicks in the table uh, or what is wood grain. So visualize spots is a really cool tool for a lot of situations but it doesn't work in this instance. So I'm going to show you another way where you can manually find the imperfections in this album. Let's open this image up in Photoshop. I added a new clean layer. Let me show you that on its own that just covering all the little nicks and scratches in the table that I could see. That gave us a relatively clean picture, but I make this a habit of doing at the end of most of my pictures just to see if there's anything I missed. This is kind of your fail safe and it will show you those invisible imperfections. Let's add a new curves adjustment layer, which you can find right here. Now, if you were to do a normal style curve, then you would just kind of pull this up or down or maybe a slight S curve like this. Now, this isn't showing us what we need to see, so let's get rid of that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make an S curve that is completely funky, just nothing right about it. Let's just drag it around. Oh, as you can see there, that did it. Now the key here, there's no particular right way to do this curves adjustment. Every picture, depending on where your lights and your darks are in the picture, is going to have a different formula on how to find it. But now we found there are all these black fingerprints on that white leather. So I'm just going to finesse this a little bit to kind of pull out that texture and you can add more or less to pull it out. And there, I think we have a pretty good curves adjustment layer that shows us where all of our imperfections are on that leather. Can you see all those fingerprints? You definitely didn't see them before. So now what you can do, let's add a new layer here. And I'm going to call this demo clean. Let's grab our clone stamp tool and zoom in on one of these fingerprints and see what we can do about fixing it. Now, with the default settings on the clone stamp tool, if you were to just go in and start fixing it, you see it starts creating more problems than it solves. That's because it's pulling our curves adjustment layer and it's adding that to what we were doing on our demo clean layer. But then our curves adjustment layer is messing it up even more. So we want to be able to take this area and sample here while having our curves adjustment layer on, but not having the curves adjustment layer actually affect the final outcome. Up here, make sure when you're sampling current and below. As long as you're not on all layers and make sure to have your curves adjustment layer above the layer you're trying to clean, you should be good. Now, if you go like this and start sampling, you start getting rid of the fingerprints. One of the things I find is that may actually cause more smudging, so I actually prefer to lower the flow or opacity so you can lightly fix your mistakes to avoid overcorrecting. Now you can use your preferred method of getting rid of blemishes to get rid of everything you see there. So there you have it. I went over our entire album. Here is our cleaned version and our not clean version. You can tell with the curves layer off, it is a very small adjustment. But if you're working on an image that requires perfection, then this is the final step that you definitely don't want to overlook. I'll show you the curves layer I used for this image, but remember the curves layer you use is going to be different depending on your image. 
So that's how you find invisible imperfections. I use it as the final fail safe when I'm double checking that an image is ready to go. I'm Ben Lucas and thanks for watching.